lovely place. I hope you're all doing well. Today I have a review for you and it is of Royal Wedding by Meg Cabot. I don't know what it is lately with me reading books by authors that I enjoy from series that I like and being severely unimpressed and underwhelmed with the books that I have been reading, but that is the case here with this book. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Princess Diaries series or the incredible first and mediocre second film, they are about this girl named Mia Thermopolis who lives in New York City, not San Francisco, but New York City, and discovers at the age of 16 she is Princess of Genovia. And her life is suddenly thrown into crazy spurts of having to learn how to be a princess and finish high school and preparing herself to run a country someday. And there is a series of many, many, many books. Um, there are ten full-length novels plus a couple spin-offs and a half book. Um, it's a very long series that Meg Cabot has written. Um, she's very well known for writing series, um, middle grade, young adult series for girls, um, and they're great. So as you might imagine, in this novel, Mia is indeed getting married. Uh, she is the royal of the royal wedding and so she is trying to focus on planning that and dealing with her grandmother who as you might imagine has a very different vision about what her wedding is going to be like than she. Um, she is trying to keep up with all the paparazzi who have been hounding her. There is someone uh, on the internet posting angry things about her. She's getting some death threats. She's also trying to run this brand new facility that she has created to help make uh, the lives better for kids in New York City and helping them with their homework and whatnot. Um, so she is doing all of those different things in this book. Um, and it's just... it's just a lot. It's written in the same style as all of the other Princess Diaries books. It is Mia's writing and her diary. Her voice is definitely still the same, uh, still prone to all sorts of exaggeration and a little, little bit of over-the-topness and struggling and being like, ah, social anxiety, I don't know what to do, kind of person. Uh, but it's clear in this book that she's 25, that she has grown up a bit. She's graduated from college um, and she's ready to pursue this new life as Princess of Genovia and eventually um, as Queen with her Prince Consort. The language and the content are a little bit more adult. Um, Mia's discussion with uh, important people in complicated situations are also a little more adult than we are used to. She's sort of calmed down a little bit in a lot of cases, uh, but when she's just sort of pouring out her stream of consciousness thoughts in her diary, not so much. What I didn't love about this was the constant twists and turns. It's quite another to saddle your main character with two life-changing events, a person that's given her trouble in past books coming back, and uh, an election. So all of that is contained in here and it's all sort of stirred together to create this end to the series and believe me, this I think is where the series really needs to end. Um, there is no real setup for another book after this, um, as interested as I would be in reading more about Mia's life. I would also be perfectly happy to know that this is where it ended. Um, I think there is another sort of smaller spin-off series based on the events of this book that's sort of floating around right now. Um, I have no intention of reading it because I'm a little frustrated. Um, this book just kept throwing bigger and bigger things into Mia's life that were completely unnecessary and didn't need to be there. This could have just been the book about the royal wedding and that would have caused enough mayhem for a lifetime, but no, things just kept getting layered and layered on. And I think, as I've expressed in my reviews of several other books, if you're going to create something that is a real solid ending, you should create something that has a solid ending. It's, it gets impossible when you topple your character's psyches with dilemma after dilemma. The only case where that really was necessary was in Harry Potter. In many instances, I would look at these events and say, oh, that took me by surprise. Oh, I don't like that. Why is this happening? And gosh, why would you make it worse, Meg Cabot? I was very, very frustrated with the author throughout this entire book because she kept making Mia's life more and more challenging. So that became irritating. What I did enjoy about this book was the inclusion of other uh, documents that get drawn up, like dossier pages, um, the text message conversations that are uh, put in there in a text message format with the little speech bubbles on either side, um, like you would see on most smartphones. Um, so that was kind of cool. It's a little bit more than just Mia's writing as usual. But I was definitely disappointed by this. Um, I was expecting a lot more 
and it just took a totally different direction than I think I would have taken it, and therefore I have given this book only three out of five stars. If you have also read this book, please let me know what you thought of it. This is a series that is very near and dear to my heart, and I have just not really known what to think since I finished it because it, I'm just terribly disappointed. Uh, but please let me know down in the comments. Uh, I would love to have a chat about it. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, everything you might want to know is down there in the down bar about us, um, and we will see you very soon.